What's up, you guys? This is Professor Ron with OneHourProfessor.com. And I got an email the other day from one of my email subscribers, and he was telling me on a, a little hint, if you will, on something that he had done uh, that I've done myself. And I thought it was pretty interesting. So he had created a page on his website with a uh, kind of tool. I can't really explain exactly what it is, but he had a tool on his website. Uh, and that particular page where he put that tool it ended up actually skyrocketing in SEO traffic. It's ranking for what he was trying to rank for, and it's doing really, really well, and now it accounts for quite a bit of his website traffic as a whole, just that one page. And did you know that interactive content, so we're talking about quizzes, calculators, that sort of stuff, it can actually increase your conversions uh, by about 30 to 40% when compared to a conversion rate of maybe eight to 10% for a regular landing page with just like text and stuff like that. So long story short, interactive tools that keep your visitors engaged and interested, that stuff really, really works. And if you look at the biggest brands, you'll see that a lot of them are, are using these interactive tools and there's a reason why they're doing it. It's because it works, right? But usually these, these types of tools are kind of outside the budgets. Like people like myself, maybe you, you know, it's kind of outside the budgets. Like I don't have the ability to hire custom coders and all that, it's just too expensive. So in today's video, what I want to do is I want to tell you about a pretty amazing new platform that I found that's called outgrow.co that helps, uh, they help small creators and, and large creators, but they help small creators like you and I to harness the power of this interactive content and they make it really affordable to do so. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Now, before I begin this one, I do wanna say that I have not been compensated to create this review or tutorial about this tool. Uh, what happened was they actually reached out to me and said, hey, Ron, here's this tool. Let us know what you think of it. I, I thought it was really, really cool. So they allowed me to become an affiliate for it, right? And if you guys do end up purchasing anything, I'd appreciate if you use my affiliate link in the description below. But I don't usually make a lot of money from these affiliate uh, type of engagements. The reason why I'm doing this and creating this is I wanted to make you guys aware of it because I think it's really, really important and it could be really helpful for you. And you know, if I get a little bit of extra money through affiliate stuff, that's great. It'll help me pay for my editor, but it's not like I'm you know, gonna go buy a car with it or anything like that. So now that I've said that and kind of gotten that out of the way, I just wanna let you guys know that, like I said, I'm not compensated for this. I'm doing this because I really think that this stuff will help you. And when I, anytime that I bring a tool to your guys' attention, it's because I think it'll help you. So. Let me get into it here. So what is outgrow.co, okay? And I'm going to actually go to a screen share really quick to kind of show you some of the stuff on their website to explain what it is that they offer. So you can see here that we're on the homepage of the website. And as I said, it talks about booster marketing with interactive content. They have simple no code tools. This is key. Uh, that means no programming, you guys, which is what I needed uh, to acquire qualified leads, which is exactly what it helps you do. So they have calculators, they have quizzes, like I had talked about, you know, the normal stuff, but they also have assessments, recommendations, polls, they even have chat bots, uh, giveaways and forms and surveys. So make sure that you stay till the end of this video because what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna give you a tutorial of the back end, so the dashboard, so you can actually see how easy it is to create this stuff. Um, so you understand like, wow, I can actually harness the power of this stuff, which is pretty neat because this is usually like enterprise stuff. It's, it's expensive to implement yourself. Otherwise, you know, with WordPress, you have to have a bunch of different plugins, all this mess. This makes it a lot easier. So why should you create interactive content? And it's a, it's a good question, right? I talked a little bit about it. You know, it can increase your conversions by a significant amount, 30 to 40% versus like eight to 10%. So conversions being, it could be sales, but it also, for people like us, it could just be email signups, right? Building your email list, that's a big part of any business. So the ability to do it with this could actually be a really, really helpful thing. So it can really help with that. And in addition to that, as I said, it can actually drive traffic to your website because certain pages that have interactive content typically do well with SEO signals. So let me show you again with a screen share here. So some of the metrics. So 
what they're talking about, and they've done studies on this, and they 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 explain more about this on the site. And I'm not going to go too deep into it here, but basically their conversion rates without interactive content, 14%. They were able to bump them up to 43%. This is with a a uh, you know study internally that they did with a bunch of their own clients. Bounce rates, which is a big indi indicator for SEO, if a page is um, you know really well liked and it doesn't have a high bounce rate, that usually means that Google is more likely to rank it because Google looks at like, okay, people come to this page, they stay on this page, they like this page, this is a good page. So you want really low bounce rates. So they were able to make the bounce rates without interactive content were at 62%. They were able to, to drop it down to 17%. I don't think I've ever had a page that had a 17% bounce rate. Maybe my homepage on onehourprofessor.com, I'm not sure. Um, but that would probably be the only one. Uh, and then also social shares. So you can increase your social sh shares. They had a 3%, it got up to 28%. And we've all seen this before, right? Like, you know, you've, you see a, a Facebook ad, take this quiz to see what Marvel character you are, stuff like that. They actually have the ability to help you create this kind of stuff and generate those email leads, which is big. So those are the metrics. So why interactive content is awesome. It builds trust. It makes you it makes you look much bigger than you are. Okay, when you're using interactive content, people look at these tools and it's it's kind of like, wow, this is really cool. They put this together and they were able to do this. So it does build some uh, you know real value and it makes people trust you more and it makes them perceive you as bigger than you really are. Um, as I said, it can bring you in new traffic. The email that I got, it it wasn't exactly like this outgrow tool but it's something that this individual did that I was like, wow, that was pretty smart. And then it made me think like, I've done this too. And those pages that have these tools typically do pretty well in terms of SEO. So it's another part of it, it can help grow, uh, get new traffic, engagement and conversion. Like I said, people will convert with this stuff because they're really curious, especially like if it's a quiz or you know some type of survey, like one or two question survey, they engage with that stuff because they're curious to see the results. They want to know the results. So they'll engage with it and your conversions increase, which means if you're smart about it, then you can also make it to where you're collecting emails on top of that. So that's really helpful. Um, this particular tool, they do some pretty incredible segmentation and uh, targeted sales. If you're like a software platform and you're trying to get sales, this is a good way to do it. They allow you to really segment and they integrate fully with a bunch of different email platforms um, to make this happen. So I just wanna say this this tool, you guys, it, it blew my mind and I really mean that. It blew my mind when I saw it because I was like, wow, like they have thought of everything. And I, I purposely created a, um, or previously rather, created a review about uh, like Thrive Quiz Builder, Thrive Themes Quiz Builder, which is good for what it was, right? And I liked it. And they saw that and they said, hey, did you know about this tool? Maybe maybe you wanna do a review on us. And I get a ton of those emails and I was like, oh, okay, I'll take a look. And then I looked, I was like, wow, they really do some cool stuff. So let me go ahead and explain. So how, how can Outgrow.co help you? How Why is it worth it for you guys out there? You know, you get these smaller businesses and you're like, oh, well, I'm not really sure if this is, really something I should do? How does it really help you? So first, like I said, it can decrease the bounce rates on your pages. Again, this is a really, really big indicator for SEO if you have a quality page. For those that don't know, a bounce rate basically means someone comes in on the page and then they leave from the same page. And people usually do this. You've done this yourself in Google. You search something, you see a result, you click in and you're like, oh, that's not what I wanted. You click back. That's not a good thing. That's not a good indicator of quality for, for Google, right? Google looks at that and like, well, that's not the right, right page for their query. That's not what we're looking for. So if you can decrease bounce rates on your pages, that's a really good way to keep your rankings from, from search engines, keep yourself near the top, right? So it can reduce that because people are interacting with these tools, which just takes time to do. And because it takes time to do, that allows them to stay on the page longer and go to another page deeper in your website to, you know, maybe get the result of that particular thing that they were, you know, doing, or maybe they stay on the same page, whatever you want to do with it. It also increases conversion rates. This is key. Like I said, it can help increase sales conversion rates, but I think most of you that are, are going to be watching this, I think, okay, conversion rates, how does this help me? Building an email list. Email lists are huge. Um, there was a survey I remember years ago, everybody was saying basically, Email marketing is way more important than social. And I agree with that. Like social media, I I have like Facebook groups. That's about it. 
Um, but that's really it. You know, I have that. I have some some YouTube channel, obviously. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video, please take a second, like it so that other people can see it, and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on other content. But anyway, um, I don't do much social, right? I focus on email marketing and I focus on search engine optimization. Two things that I really focus on the most, and those yield some really, really great results. So you can also increase social shares for your content, which is big. Uh, if you have a piece of content on your website and it's you know something that uh, is interactive like a quiz, like I said, the, what Marvel character are you? If you have that on a page on your website, you can put that and that might end up going viral. And you might be able to collect a ton of different emails from that, which is really, really important as well to help your business grow. And then lastly, you can increase backlinks for your content. So. This isn't talked about very often, but this is actually something that's really important. And I can't sit there and say that I've done a ton of this. I've done some of this with some of my, my websites and blogs and such. Um, but there's other individuals out there that I know, John Dykstra being one of them um, from Fat Stacks blog, he talks about this quite a bit. So the idea is, is that you put data, information, interactive stuff onto a page and you make it part of a blog post or you know a, a pillar uh, content page, if you will. People go there, they put in their information, and then especially if it's like a, like a survey or it has some type of data, if you collect that information, right, and you're able to show that onto your page, then you're going to get a lot more people linking to it because it's original data and people are thirsty for that data. So if you have like an industry specific um, you know, data or statistics for your particular niche, that's really, really a big deal. This can help you create that data and it can help you create it in an interactive way to keep people on the page and then to also get them to see the results and then potentially get more backlinks as well. So I think that that alone is a really, really big deal uh, to really help not just, you know, retain all the visitors and everything, but also help your whole website grow as you know, in general, in total. So I think that's really important and, and you shouldn't underestimate that because that's actually a really, really hard thing to do to build backlinks. And this is really helpful for that as well, in my opinion. So again, I'm going to show a tutorial in a second, but before I get to it, so what are the, the pros and cons of this platform from what I could see? So the pros really feature rich product. Um, they have a lot of different things that you can do. I'll show you the back end of it. It is mind boggling the the options that they give you like really it's like super super powerful so just stay tuned for it um there's a lot of interactive content options you know i, I showed you the home page a minute ago told you all the different types of things that you could build which was great um you you get really great support with the product uh, i i actually looked all over the place and did research to make sure that people weren't complaining about support i've just started using it so I'll, like i'm not the best case it, of this because I haven't needed much support, but they do have really good support from everything that I've been reading. Uh, there's no programming needed, which is really, really big for me because as I've told most of you guys, I'm not a coder, I can't code. So like if you tell me to create a tool, I'm like, I can't do it because I can't code. So if you're one of those people who can't actually code or just don't want to hire someone to do it, that's a really big deal. So there is no, no programming needed. They allow you to fully embed everything onto your website. So it's not just, they do have landing pages where you can lead people to a landing page to get, you know, to take a quiz to get a result. And they do have that and I'll show you that in a second. But they also allow you to fully embed it on your own website, which is nice if you're trying to really track this stuff like I would if you really want to track it and make sure every, you know where everyone's going and everything. It's a good way of doing it. And they do integrate directly with most email tools, which is really cool because you can really segment people. So let's say that you, know, you have a quiz and the results are A, B, or C, and they're those three types of results for you. You can actually segment them to A, segment them to B, or segment them to C, and then create, in a lot of tools, create an autoresponder for A, an autoresponder for B, and an autoresponder for C. And those three different paths might be three completely different things, but this allows you to help them enter into the right segment, which is a little bit more advanced, but as you grow, you learn that it's really important to do that stuff. You also learn that you need to make sure that you click on the like button and subscribe to this video, subscribe to this channel as well, sorry. Click the like button so others can find it, subscribe so that you become part of the community, and also comment, guys. I'd love to hear from you. So. Those are the pros. In terms of the cons, um, to be honest, and you'll see when I when I do my screen share, it is complicated platform. It's a complicated platform, and it's a bit overwhelming when you first start into it. There's so many like 
it's amazing how much they've done to make this platform, right? Like all the different options, everything that they have, it is amazing, but it is a bit complicated and it's like a little bit overwhelming when you first get in and, and they have training and they have the resources to help you. But just understand that when you first start this, it is a little bit overwhelming. And I've also, and again, this is through research. This isn't something I experience, but there are some people that have said that they're kind of pushy salespeople. Uh, so if you get like the lowest plan, then you might get contact and people say, Hey, why don't you, why don't you upgrade to a higher plan? And why don't you, why don't you upgrade? And they'll kind of push that on you. I think, I mean, I, I can't speak from experience cause I haven't had this problem, but I will say if you're, if you're one of those smaller guys, you could just say, look, I'm a one person shop or two person shop. I don't really need the higher plan. Right. And I think that would kind of be the end of it, but I did see a few reports of that as well. Okay. So that all said, let me get into the tutorial part of this a little bit. Um, I want to first show you some templates of what they have done and some of the tools that they have helped companies build, right? We'll start there. And then I'll actually show you the tutorial of the tool, the back end of it, and kind of how it works overall. All right, so let's go back to my screen here. So you can see here that they've got this little section, which is templates, which I think is, is really, really helpful. Um, and again, if you're interested in this, just click in the description below. Um, again, that is an affiliate link, but when you click on that, you'll be able to go to here. And I appreciate the support, you guys. If, if you use a link and you end up purchasing it, I really do appreciate the support. Like I said, it just helps me pay, pay for the uh, editing of this video. So I appreciate that. But if we go to templates here, you can see you can search by industry, and then they have calculators, quizzes, assessments, giveaways, contests, all the different things. So we'll just click on search by industry. And you can go into here and you can search by the particular industry that you are a part of. Now, what I've noticed with this is that a lot of the examples that they give, these are from some pretty big companies, right? So for the first one, and you may have, maybe you guys have done this before. I've actually done it. So Tesla, when you go into a Tesla and how much do you save by buying a Tesla, right? They actually have an example and you can click on preview, right? How much do you save by buying a Tesla? And you click on get started. And then it actually goes into exactly how this would work as an example. And you could create something just like this for your own brand, right? And that's that's big. That's a full landing page. But again, you can integrate this into something too. So they have that, uh, beauty and skincare, a makeup photo contest, uh, where you can run a contest, get people to send in makeup, give them you know different, um, prizes for doing so. I'm just going to give you a few examples here. I don't want to go through all these, but makeup photo contest, enter here, right? They have a makeup challenge, first place, second place, third place, sign up for a free trial, you know, to, in order to do this, right? Another example. So I'm not going to go over all these examples because I don't think that that's the best use of my time here. And you're not here to just see the examples. You can go on the website to see it if you want, but they have that. And then they also have, you know, like I said, they have all these different, um, templates that you could see. So we'll, we'll click on quizzes to see what the examples are here. And they'll actually go over, Hey, this is, you know, they, they talk about different things and how this one company Macroscape helped one of its clients get a conversion rate of 36% with an interactive quiz, right? So should you buy or rent? They have all these different examples. So they clearly explain this stuff on their website, which is great. So I highly recommend again, in the description, you can click on the link there and go check it out. All right, so now that you know, you've know you seen a little bit of the examples, and again, you could just go and check it out yourself if you wanna dive deeper into it. Let's go to the dashboard here, and let's actually see how the back end of this tool works and how you can use it to create what you need to create. All right, so you'll see here that we have uh, quite a few different areas to this tool. So you have dashboard, analytics, and performance, right? And this is the analytics and performance is where you can see how things are performing for you. Um, and I don't have like a bunch of quizzes that are currently active or anything. I've just been playing around with this tool and I'm like, wow, this is really, really neat. But for me, the things that I think a lot of you guys could use would be a numerical calculator. There's a lot, you know, they have some examples, my solar ROI, cost to remodel your kitchen. There's a lot of different examples of how this would work. An outcome quiz. So one of the things that I like with these quizzes that they offer is they have if then logic, right? This is actually a big deal. So with quizzes, a lot of times what you'll see is that, you know, if they take them, they, they have to answer ABC, 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 or whatever for 10 different questions. What they do here is you can go on different paths. So you can basically say, hey, here's a quiz. And you know, what color hair do you have? Do you have brown or blonde hair? And I know that there's other colors, but just for the sake of the example, do you have brown or blonde hair? If, so this is the if then stuff that I was just talking about. If you click on brown, then you go this path. 
If you click on blonde, then you go this path. That is a really big deal to have that with the interactive quizzes stuff. You want to make sure that you have that because you need to be able to segment people. And just by answering a quiz, they will be able to segment themselves. An example I'll give, so many of you already know, onehourprofessor.com is my website. And if you go there, you can click, you can get a free mini course, you can learn the truth about online business. There's a lot of different things that you can do there. But the point is, I could create a quiz and put it on the homepage talking about what stage of your online business are you at, right? Are you, you know, just haven't even gotten a domain name? That's one path. Or you have a website but need to grow it, that's path two. Or you have one website and you're looking to grow into a second or third website, that's path, path three. I would be able to segment my own users that way using one of these quizzes. So you can, you know, every, every business out there is different, but I'm sure that you could find a way to use this for your own website as well. Next is assessment. I think this is a really good way of doing it or a really uh, interactive thing. So how well do you know the Lakers? What's your digital maturity rank? Can you ace the ultimate friends quiz? This is a stuff that you maybe, I know I've seen it on social media before, the assessments. It's a good way of just getting diehard fans and kind of challenging them and being like, hey, can you get 100%? you know, that sort of stuff that I think that that really, really works. And you can always, well, a lot of time capture an email at the end of that. Next is poll. So I think this is really big. So polls, I feel are a great way within content on a blog or a website to get people to engage. And they always want to see those results. And then again, this can result in some links as well. So I think polls are really big. Uh, E-commerce recommendations. So this is really for e-commerce platforms. I feel like it's really focused on that. But what type of shirt should you buy? What should you wear tonight? What, uh, see what shoe you should wear to, for tonight's game. That kind of stuff. That are, are different tools that will actually recommend uh, e-commerce uh, products to people who are visiting an e-commerce site. Next, we have chat bots. Now, these are uh, a little bit beyond my own scope of expertise, but I think it's pretty cool because these chat bots, they will allow people to put in uh, information based on what the user is saying. So if the user says this particular word, then it triggers this particular response. There's some cool things that you could do with chat bots. There's a whole lot about chat bots that um, you can read up on. Giveaways, pretty self-explanatory. You wanna do a giveaway, they have a lot of pre-designed templates for it, which is great. And then a form or survey. I think this is big. The surveys can actually help quite a bit, um, again, to possibly link build and you know get those link pick, lit, backlinks naturally from the content that your, uh, your, your followers are creating. And then other things like that. So for us, I think uh, you know we can just go into here and we could just do kind of a, let's go with a, I'll go with a poll. All right, so here you can see, you can select a template, right? And this is just, hey, what, what templates do you wanna do, okay? They specifically give you examples and you can basically build your template or you, your, your, um, your poll to look exactly like this, right? The only difference is, is that you can change the images, you can change the content within, right? You can do that. So you can use a template or you could just start from scratch. I think that's kind of the better way to do it. And you can see previews of all this just by scrolling over them, quite frankly. Uh, you can also click on these little uh, eye things here to see them. But we'll just use the Chicago layout because I'm from Chicago, so I gotta go with that, right? Okay, so here it is. This is the start of it here. So poll heading goes here. And you can see you literally just click and you edit it up here. You guys, you can add media, add a logo. And I'm not gonna do like a full build out of this because I think it'll take way too much. But you can put this information here, right? Their name, their email, the button text, whatever you wanna do. You can collect a email address right there, right away, which is great. Um, and then you can go into the next one. So are you Democrat, Republican, that sort of thing. Um, or, you know, if you click on it and you're like, oh, option one, op option two, um, and we want to add independent, right? In this particular one, we could add one more image and then we could label it as independent, okay? So that would be which, which one, which uh, political party are you going to vote for? So you could do all, all three of those, right? Um, so that would be a way to do it. You can also, this one's pretty simple, right? Because it, at the end of it, it, it says, hey, X or whatever percent of participants agree with you. And then it says, hey, you can share this on social media. And again, a lot of us have seen this before. Uh, share it on social media. And then they talk about the results of the, of the uh, poll. If you wanted to, you know, you can add more questions to it. Uh, so a question, a, a lead generation form or custom HTML. They do let you do totally custom stuff too. Um, but 
you know, one of the keys to this is that's a no code tool. So I would usually just say, hey, let's add another question. Uh, but that's like a simple version of it. This is the, the web view. They also have a mobile view so that you can tell how this is gonna look on mobile, which is, which is really, really big too. Another thing is if you click on configure up here, so that was the build area. If you click on configure, this is where we really get into the weeds. So I'm gonna kind of glaze over some of this because again, there is so much to it, you guys. You can do tracking and events, SEO localization, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, there's just a lot of different things that you can go into here. Email notifications so that you're aware uh, and when things are happening. And also you can send emails to other people. Uh, integration, which is really big. This is like, and they do have some good, like I said, they have some good training here, so they do that. But you can integrate with all these different platforms, uh, social integrations, right? If you want to do any type of social integration with this stuff, embedding on a web page. This is big to me. This is one of my first questions. I said, okay, this is great, but can I embed this on my own web page? Because I don't necessarily want to send them to a landing page hosted um, by outgrow.co. That's not really what I was looking to do. And they said, yes, you can do that. Uh, promotion checklist, you know, these different things as well. Launch it in an email. Uh, there's, this, there's so many different things that you can actually do here. External scripts, again, to totally customize it, custom style sheets. There's so many different things here to do that it is a little overwhelming. And if I spent a whole tutorial building this out, it would take me like two hours. So I'm not gonna do that, but I will say that just giving this a shot and taking a look at it, I think is totally worth it. And again, the description is, uh, or in the description there is a link so you can actually check this out. But going in and playing with it yourself and then doing some of the, the um, training, I think it's totally worth it. Uh, just because of the sheer amount of options that they have here and the power of all the different tools. Like I was talking to the person, they were just saying like, the biggest uh, thing that'll hold you back here is your own, you know, the, the things that you can think of, your own creativity, that's what'll hold you back because their tool can do pretty much anything, right? And that's what I discovered playing around with it and messing around with it. So that was a configure area, the analyze area and the performing performance area. So I don't have responses because I haven't actually built this out, but you could see that you'll get detailed responses about all this stuff, funnels, you'll see what questions they stopped at or finished at, all the conversions, all that data as well. And then you can look at performance and see overall some recommendations that they have and how the performance is doing compared to other things that you've done. There's just a lot, you guys. And like, I hate to sit here and, and do a full review and tutorial, but not actually build this stuff out. But this is such a uh, big platform for what it is, right? Like I, I was used to Thrive Quiz Builder, which is pretty simple. This is so much more than that right? They've done so many more things and they have grown this business. It's actually a pretty big business. They have grown this business by going after the, the enterprise market, right? So they've done a really, really good job getting a big market. So now you're probably wondering, okay, well, what is the cost of something like this? So let me go ahead and go into the pricing structure. All right. So it's not a secret, right? It's right here uh, in on the website itself. You could just go right over to the pricing and check it out. And it's really not too bad, right? So for a freelancer, this is just for the quiz, okay? Just for the quiz area, just that section. It's $14 a month. And you can also, you can, if you, uh, well, I'm sorry, it's $14 a month if you do annual. If you do monthly, it's $22 a month. So it's a little bit of a gotcha there, right? So, uh, but the reality is 22 bucks a month just for the quiz, not too bad. Really, I mean, if you have a business where it, you're just trying to collect a bunch of different emails, this is a really, really good way to do it. And they have all the different things that you can do and any limitations in that down here. Really where it gets interesting is the freelancer area right here, where you can get 45, it's $45 a month, a little bit more pricey, but if you're generating a ton of income from your email list or you're really focused on your email list and wanna get a bunch of people in, this is a great way to do it, okay? So this can be $45 a month if you do it monthly, or if you do annual, it's 25 bucks a month. So actually a, well, save it to 44%. You can save 44% by going annual. I know it's not always easy to go annual because it's like, well, that's kind of a big cost, you know, to just make that leap. But maybe try it for a month or two, and if you really like it, then you know you can go ahead and go to the um, annual, and you'll save a ton of money. And again, guys, if you're interested, below in the description, I'd appreciate if you use that link. Again, like I said, I am an affiliate, but I will make enough to cover the editing of this video. So, I mean, I appreciate your guys' help with that, but you know, I'm not I'm not buying a car with it, like I said, anything like that. So. That is really what outgrow.co is all about. Um, I hope that you guys like this one. Again, if you did, please click on the like button on the video so that 
other people can see this. And also please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I want you guys here. I want you to be part of the community and I wanna hear your comments as well. So if you have them, if you have questions, let me know below in the comments. Otherwise guys, thanks as always for being here. Really appreciate your support. Sincerely, it's awesome to have you guys part of the community and I will see you in the next one.